Nobody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for today's World Rankings Preview. The number one spot in the world is um, up for grabs this weekend and uh, Ireland could finish the weekend as number one should the box go down to New Zealand. Down in Cape Town, we don't have a great record against New Zealand in Cape Town. However, have a very good record at the DHL Stadium itself, having won three out of four games there. Um, three of them have actually been the British and Irish Alliance series. So, uh, yeah, a little bit skewed in terms of not having played too many games there, but uh, we do have a good record there, and hopefully we will be able to keep that record um, going when we take on the All Blacks tomorrow, because uh, if we don't, then we could risk losing uh, that number one spot in the world and going down to number two. We're going to be having a look at all the different ramifications of potential results this weekend before we do that please do smash a like on the video please do subscribe to the channel as well let's have a look shall we and uh here we go is the, the world rankings preview so in terms of how it works uh just a bit of a show it uh, basically it is calculated on results for example and uh, it has to be a full international between two uh, world rugby full member unions so for example um you know, British and Irish Lions just against Japan or whatever, they, they wouldn't count for world rankings. Um, it has to be a full member union. And basically, you know, there are a couple of things that come into it. Uh, first of all, where the game is in terms of home or away for each team, as well as marginal victory if it is by more than 15 points or more. So those are kind of the three things. The results, win, lose, draw. And then if you win, by how much? Um, 15 points more or 15 points or less. And then where is it home or away? Those all come into the, the rankings themselves. Uh, so that is the summary over there. So uh, if South Africa were to lose tomorrow, they would surrender the top spot to Ireland. They could fall down to third if the defeat is by more than 15 points um, with New Zealand then climbing up to second place. New Zealand cannot go number one, but they can go above the box into number two. Ireland, despite not playing this weekend, could end up as the number one side in the world according to the rankings by Sunday. However, if the box were to win the game um, tomorrow, they could increase their cushion of, um, above Ireland up to 1.56 points. Uh, the big news for New Zealand is they cannot fall from third place, even if they were to go back-to-back -back defeats, um, because they would still sit 1.18 points above France, who are currently in fourth place. So the All Blacks, with their big victory coming up to second, cannot move uh, away from third, but cannot go to first. So uh, a far bigger, uh, more jeopardy, really, uh, for the Springboks in terms of them actually losing that number one spot um, and uh, could potentially go down to third if things really don't go well this weekend. Elsewhere, Argentina cannot go back up to sixth place, um, which they lost to Scotland last weekend, even if they were to beat the Wallabies by 15 points or more. The margin of victory, however, would leave um, Argentina just 0 0.33 racing points behind Scotland, and the victory would then move Australia back behind Italy down to ninth. Australia could, however, overtake Argentina um, if they beat Argentina, and a win by more than 15 points would leave them just 0 0.04 points behind Scotland and uh, could almost move into sixth place if they were to beat New Zealand, for example. Uh, so they could quite, quite, that's the one thing. When you're quite low in the rankings, you know, a couple of victories against teams better than you and you rise quite quickly because of a sort of the, the scale, basically, where you receive more points depending on, you know, the team, how, how many uh, places higher the team you beat are ranked. Um, so... Um, if they uh, if if they were to lose by more than fifteen points, they would fall another place down, and Italy could overtake them. Um, there's also a Pacific Nations Cup this weekend with Fiji unable to improve on their tenth place, and uh, similarly for Japan, uh, who also cannot move up uh, anymore. USA, however, can climb up to sixteenth if they were to beat Japan and uh, Tonga. If Tonga lose to home, um, then also that, that helps them move up to sixteenth. Uh, then Tonga, uh, sorry, Japan will then drop their place and be replaced in 15 by Portugal if they lose to the USA, whilst defeat by more than 15 points would leave Japan a mere 0.21 points above the USA. Um, how the mighty have fallen, really, if this were to be the case, Japan could really fall. That's also the one thing. Similarly, for like Zap, you're out at the top. If you're at the top, you can fall quite quickly. If you're at the, the bottom, for example, you can move up quickly. Where it's difficult becomes when you're sort of sitting in second or third place um, to try and find teams to beat to try and get up to that sort of first spot you kind of almost have to hope for the other teams to beat the one above you and they kind of drop down 
Um, a win by um, <coughs> sorry, a win for Tonga by more than 15 points um, will see them climb two places to 14th if it is combined with a Japanese defeat. Otherwise, they'll only go up one place to 15th. And uh, such a defeat would also cost Fiji their place in the top 10 with Wales moving back in there. So in terms of uh, the South Africa versus you know, the Rugby Championship, so if South Africa win by 15 points or less, they'll go up to 93.58. If they win by more than 15 points, they'll go up to 93.68, whilst New Zealand would go down to 88.14. A draw would see us remain at the top with 92.58. New Zealand will move up to 89.25. And uh, if New Zealand were to win, however, we go up to ninety-one point, uh, we go down to ninety-one point five eight, and uh, we'd, re we'd we'd then relinquish our top spot. New Zealand would go up to ninety point two five. If New Zealand were to win by more than fifteen points, then we drop to down to ninety point six eight. New Zealand would go up to ninety-one point one four. They would move into second place over there, and uh, the, that's the scenario when it comes to uh, the. Australia and Australia game. Uh, in terms of a couple of stats, because there's always have some nice stats uh, about the games. And we'll get to the game over here. Uh, the referee, by the way, tomorrow is Matthew Carley from England. And uh, he has refereed the fixture three times, actually, or two times before. And uh, Safka have actually not lost to New Zealand when he has been the referee which is interesting. Uh, he was also an assistant referee in the World Cup Finals. So we've got quite a good record when he's been involved. And um, this will be the second time he referees them at, down at DHL, at DHL Stadium, where we beat Wales back in 2022. Uh, so we didn't really have a, uh, a, t a relatively good record. Um, we've only lost to, um, when Matthew Collins refereed once, and that was against Australia in 2021. Whereas New Zealand, for example, have uh, won four and lost two with Collins as referee, those two um, coming uh, against South Africa as well. Let me know what you think of the rankings and where you think things might go. Give me a bold prediction of your score predictions, for example. Let me know down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.